Did the old prophets actually meet angels on top of mountains? Or were they highly intelligent beings from a galaxy far, far away? Today, we're taking a look at three well-known sightings of UFOs. Because let's face it, we're not alone, and the evidence is everywhere. In today's video, we're taking a look at scary events that happened during space exploration. Space is a vast, wild frontier, and we're still limited in our capacity to explore it. Anything could go wrong out there, from equipment failures to unexpected sights and sounds. If you're curious to know more, let's dive in. First, we have a terrifying tale of equipment failure. This incident happened to Chris Hadfield. He was attempting to dock with the Mir space station when suddenly, his craft's distance and speed sensors failed. Hadfield was 30 seconds away from the station. Hadfield's job was to relay the speed and range information to the pilot as they were docking. This was highly important. The docking process was an extremely high-precision event. Failure to do so would be catastrophic. If he had hit Mir too soft, the spring mechanisms would bounce him off. If he hit too hard, the station would break in half. All three astronauts on board would die. Hadfield had to get it just right. In the end, he was able to dock his craft without any issues. Still, it's scary to imagine what could have happened. Space is an unpredictable frontier after all. One thing to remember about space is that it's a vacuum. No sound can be transmitted through it, unlike light. This is why astronaut suits have special communication gear built in. This enables them to converse with each other and also mission control on Earth. But the astronaut Yang Li Wei claims he heard a strange knock out in space. Li Wei was the first mainland Chinese astronaut in space in 2003. During his mission, Li Wei was sitting in his space shuttle when he repeatedly heard a knock. It sounded like somebody hammering an iron bucket with a mallet made of wood. Li Wei was uncertain whether the knocking was coming from inside or outside the shuttle. Anxiously, he looked out through the porthole. There was nothing there. After returning to Earth, Li Wei tried to explain the knocking to experts, but he failed to recreate the sound. Neither were they convinced that someone was knocking out there. Many other Chinese astronauts have claimed to hear similar sounds. There are various theories about the mysterious knocking. Some experts say decreasing air pressure may have caused changes in the structure of the spacecraft. Others believe it was due to air leaking out of objects in the capsule. He said air leaking out of the objects in the capsule could also cause noise. Till today, there have been no conclusive findings. Knocks aren't the only strange things astronauts have heard in space. There's also music. During the Apollo 10 mission, a test run for sending the first men to the moon, astronauts faced a unique challenge. They were carrying various pieces of equipment with them. These were essential to the moon landing. Because of this, they were being tested to see if they could withstand space. The stakes were high. The outcome of their experiments would determine the fate of the upcoming Apollo 11 mission. There were three astronauts in the test vessel, Stafford, Young, and Siernan. While circling the moon, the astronauts heard a strange whistling. It lasted for almost an hour. Siernan was particularly spooked. He described the sound as a sort of otherworldly music. I didn't need to see the sound on the space, he didn't. It? Did you hear that? That whistling sound? <laughs> Upon returning to Earth, the astronauts debated whether to inform NASA and the rest of the world. Eventually, they decided to do so. Later, astronaut Michael Collins, who was part of the Apollo 11 mission, would report hearing similar music. This time, it was on the moon's surface. Engineers from the U.S. Space Agency claimed the noises were radio interference. However, Al Worden, an astronaut on Apollo 15, disputed this explanation. Another scary event that occurred was Scott Kelly's UFO sighting. Scott Kelly was the astronaut who spent the longest time aboard the International Space Station. To this day, he's very open about his experiences up there. But that's not the only thing that makes his story stand out. Kelly has claimed he encountered strange objects in space. Some of these may have been UFOs while aboard the station. To quote Kelly, Even on the space station, I mean, I would often see something, and I would be like, that's not behaving like a star or a satellite. He also claims that aliens have it easier in space than we do. While he seems to be joking, his jokes may contain a smidgen of truth.
It's not just Scott Kelly. American astronaut Leroy Chow has also reported seeing strange lights in space. He described the formation of these lights as an upside-down V. The crew was flying past a cluster of stars when they happened to notice these strange lights. Unfortunately, they didn't get the opportunity to investigate. Were those stars, satellites, extraterrestrial craft? We may never know. There are many strange things out there in the depths of space. Lastly, we have an eerie silence. During the Apollo 11 mission in 1969, after Armstrong landed on the moon, NASA claims to have lost transmission for roughly two minutes. It's possible that his suit's radio was just malfunctioning, or maybe he was busy trying to calibrate some equipment. But conspiracy theorists believe he sent a secret message to NASA. In his supposed message, they claimed he said, These babies are huge, sir. Enormous. Oh, God. You wouldn't believe it. I'm telling you there are spacecrafts out here, lined up on the far side of the crater's edge. They're on the moon watching us. The source these theorists received the message from is unknown. Like the Wild West once was, space remains a dangerous and highly uncharted frontier. Many things can go wrong out there, but at the same time, many wonders await those brave enough to try. Thanks to the efforts of all these astronauts, we may eventually discover extraterrestrial life. Make sure to comment below on what your thoughts are. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to tune in next week.